Bounce with it. Oh, rock with it. He had heard that I took on interns from time to time. And what I did was I, I'd take on sort of assistants. This was a deal where he was gonna get college credit if I went along with the idea of being here. He was to come and help out on all things ballooning, okay? Chasing, if I was in the midst of building a balloon, repairing them, all that, he would pitch in. You know, there'd be a mutual enthusiast or a supporter of that program. And he was willing to just be my indentured servant. You know, what I've learned from crewing and driving the chase vehicle and, you know, all the other stuff that doesn't involve flying. That gives me a, a little more experience than just the, the small time I have in balloons. Keep it, keep it real. I know, I know my place in the uh, in this relationship with Brian, you know. And when he showed up, I didn't recognize him because I knew him as barely a little kid. You didn't focus on his dad's kid, except I knew he had a little son. In fact, he had a couple. I've read into this. I think his dad wasn't gung ho about Jordan getting into ballooning because he was the balloonist in the family. Right, turn, the, uh, turn the minute into pilot on. And normally, you know, if you've got a kid that wants to pursue a bit of what you're doing, that's like a father's dream. That place is just so awesome. I love that place. And Brian's such a great guy, and he's really the reason why I'm. You know, well, my dad's the reason I got into it. My dad might have lit the fire, but Brian just threw gasoline on it. I got married when I was 19 and had a kid when I was 19. He was a tall string bean of a guy, very creative. What his love became was not ballooning. In fact, he really had no interest in that. But he did go to art school for a little while, and he was into bikes, bicycles. And anyway, at age 25, he was out uh, on a Friday night riding with some other bike buddies from work and a couple of others. They were going through a state park, and um, they were halfway into a three-hour trip. And they stopped for you know, a swig of water or whatever. And he keeled over, he had a heart attack and died. Right then and there. I'm on the fire department and I remember hearing that call on the pager. A few days later when I was talking to my bone friends and they said, hey, Brian's son passed away. And I thought back and I said, oh my God, I, I heard that call. I can't even imagine what it would be like to lose one of your children. He was such a help that I thought, boy, it'd be great if I could get him back. And so I said, if, if you come this summer, I'll take you through all the training for your commercial license, and 
we'll build you a two-person balloon, and that's my gift to you. He thought, oh my God, you know, I, I gotta run this by my parents. The gut feeling was, dad's gonna be like, no, you gotta get a job, you know, pay back your college loans immediately. So he initially throws his idea out to his mom, and she said, Jordan, do it. She said, you're never gonna have an opportunity like that again. So he arrived May 15th, and for the services that I'm giving him, he, he's gonna go home with about $50,000 worth of stuff that other people pay for. I don't know if he's mature enough to focus on that. We've never talked about what this is worth versus that's worth, but the balloon he's getting, that would be about a seventeen dollars or $18,000 package by itself. We go to this uh, senior center thing on Tuesdays. I'm kind of on the young end of the program. <laughs> and then we bring Jordan, and a lot of people thought he was like my little kid. There's this one woman that takes care of us, and she goes, Brian, you'll have another? I go, okay, so a second lunch comes. And then she'll say, you'll have one to take home? Okay. Now, the total cost of the thing was $3. So you're getting like three meals for a dollar each. And dessert. So we, we come out of there like bandits and, you know, it's, we entertain the group with balloon stories and all that. Oh, I think we may have seen this one going up to the stove. The first year we saw Brian and Jordan really gel together. And we often thought, is that because Jordan was right around the same age as his son was when he passed away? Hopefully Jordan's been able to fill a little void there for Brian. If it's helped them both out, then, then it's done something good. There's the vehicle. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Jordan, he, he was anything I'd uh, conjure up. And, you know, he, he got involved in a huge repertoire of all different kinds of things, which is uh, good and healthy, you know, all these projects around the property. The boats we mucked around with, played with, you know, stuff, you know, the whole experience on the lake. We go out there and the phone doesn't ring and you can think, chit chat about stuff. I mean, it's, um, we talk about everything under the sun. Not just ballooning, not just boating. I'd quiz him on his female relationships, you know? And, you know, he'd fill me in on and how that works and this works. And it's like, oh, yeah. He knew I had a son. If I said, somebody had asked once whether I thought of you as a son. And I said, you know, I'd never blatantly thought in that regard, but I said, it was a little bit something like that. He just finished building one. Oh. And That's the one you were talking about. Got his picture in the paper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, it was sort yeah. of a weird photo. Good to know I, uh, you know, switch up the outfit every once in a while. <laughs> That's brilliant. It started on July 5th and then finished up September 26th. But we're still making adjustments, so it's never quite, a, <laughs> never quite done. Having somebody here like Jordan was a plus. I mean, it's great. Jordan's picked up this little thing, flying a balloon. You know, it's a, a little doodad in his repertoire of things he can do in life. And to have a balloon, it's a neat thing. 